mean, it's 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 crazy. I mean, you get to talk to actual people that were in the room when they were counting down, and like the, you know, astronaut sons, and you know, you watch all the documentaries, and you, you just can't believe it. Have you ever? I mean, I'm sure you've been in like a car that's probably from the '60s, like '68. I, I have a '69 Camaro, and or no, like '68 Camaro, and. When you look at the dashboard, you're just like, it's all analog. There is no, it's no automatic anything at all, other than the transmission, and that's and that's it. And like you're just going, how did they go to the moon with just math, math, and like strapping yourself to a giant rocket, and and like it's just, it's crazy to think about. I, you know, that's why obviously there's all this conspiracy. Of did they go? Did they not go? But. And that's why we have the movie, obviously, because you know NASA was such a curtain that you don't that it wouldn't let you know what's going on behind the curtain. But you know that's what like leaves it open to, to kind of have your uh, fictional historical sort of movie. But I personally think that they went. I talked to way too many people that were there and saw the undertaking in which it actually was. I don't think you fake that. I just don't believe it. I think it's been a conspiracy forever. Like it's been a conspiracy since the moment it, it, that they we landed there. So I never, I never really worried about whether you're going to think our movie made it a conspiracy or not. And that's kind of the whole, you know, emphasis of the movie is like, you know, did they, did they, did they not? Did they? Were they thinking about it? Was it an option? You know, that's the kind of the whole conceit. You know, it was not a. So this concept was. You know, it, had, it was something that had 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 been floating around in our production company. Um, this idea we have a company called These Pictures, and this idea of like, can you play with this conspiracy theory? Um, you know, that we had faked the moon landing, or that there was an alternate, um, you know, uh, plan. Um, and it could, you know, is that there's there something we could play with there in like this rom com? So could you do a two hander? based on this, sort of like a wacky idea, which we kind of throw around a lot of these sorts of ideas. And then Rose Gilroy came in, who's an incredible writer, obviously comes from an amazing family of screenwriters and directors, and she just like instantly got it. She has such an incredible ability to write this like witty, you know, screwball, back and forth, like banter. And it was just an undeniably great script. It was so great that I had to be in it. I was not expecting to be in it, but I really could not let anybody else see the part. I'm like trying really hard to hold it together. Um, I'm sort of at the verge of passing out at any moment. Um, but overall, it's fun. I think I was really excited for tonight because I get to see everyone again. We all get to be in the same room, and it's been since the movies since that happened. So that that's driving me forward. You know, I was lucky enough to be put in touch with Neil's son and to have their blessing on this, but this movie is just like such a, a nice, I think, counterpoint to that, where you could see a little bit of his of his dad humor and his funny side, and we had a, such a good time making the movie, so hopefully hopefully you get to see a new, a new side of Neil. Uh, um, I, you know, I think we had the pleasure of showing this film to ask to the widows of the astronauts of the Apollo 1 mission. I think as soon as you meet people, anyone that's involved in the space program, it's, you just, I don't know, <laughs> there's no way you could possibly feed into that there. It just seems, seems absurd. Uh, what drew me to this one is that, first of all, I got the part, which is always rare and always uh, exciting. And secondly, I think it was, it, it, it's a movie that has so much going on and it feels like how could this possibly work and then you see it and it works so beautifully and Greg had such a vision for it and it wasn't until I finally saw it that I think I fully registered what that vision was and it's so it's just glorious and it's and it's um it's just pure fun and of a of a smart variety that we don't get in the movies a lot. And then joining the Jurassic universe. Yes. How does that feel? So, part of that incredible place. Uh, I'm in the thick of it right now, and yeah. it's yeah, it's madness. It's uh, it's it's massive, um, and really exciting. We have an incredible director, Gareth Edwards, and uh, yeah, he's got an amazing visual vocabulary. So, as a fan, I'm very very excited for it.